Hi Aquarius, welcome to your What They Aren't Telling You reading for August 23rd through September 22nd. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out which goes to Scarlet Moon. Much love and support to him and hopefully you get a chance to check him out, show him some love and support as well if you like what he has to say. This is intended to be a romantic love reading but it could resonate in other areas of your life such as work, friends, or family, etc., etc. <laughs> okay, all right. So I'm going to read it as a romantic love reading, but it might, you know, fit in other areas of your life. All right, Aquarius, here we go. Aquarius, what they aren't telling Aquarius, what is it? What aren't they telling you, Aquarius? Well, okay, <laughs> two of cups, all right, three of cups, the sun, page of cups, six of wands, oh my good gracious, knight of cups, this could be Leo, Scorpio, justice, ace of cups, what in the world, Aquarius, Eww. all right. Well, wow. I mean, this looks kind of happy. <laughs> is this a new love? Did you just meet somebody? Holy cow. I mean, is this somebody that just, is this a friend that's about to turn into a romantic person or someone that's coming, approaching you as a friend and really wanting to get to know you as a friend, but their secret, you've got like a huge secret admirer here. Is this like the first positive reading ever for Aquarius? <laughs> wow. It has been a year, honestly. Okay, all right, what's this Three of Cups about? What's this Three of Cups for Aquarius? Please don't give me the God blessed death card right here. What's this Three of Cups for Aquarius? Shiza. The Hanged Man, that could be Pisces. What's this Sun card about? Oh, what's this Sun card about? Hold on, I think I'm not. <laughs> okay, all right, we got the world there, also boobies. Everything is better with babies. What's this six of wands here? What's this six of wands? Aquarius. What's this six of wands for Aquarius? Hierophant. What's this knight of cups? Three of pentacles. I think someone's hoping you'll come around to the way they feel. I think someone is kind of trying to judge whether they should say, hey, you know, this isn't really like an out of the blue getting to know you again, showing up after all this time. This is something like I have planned and I'm, I'm really hoping that um, you will see things the way I do because I feel for you, but I don't want to go there until I do know how you feel. But I, I kind of, I like you and I'm going to act really nonchalant and like, hey, hey, you know, but I, it's there. This is somebody that, Lord, he coming. This is somebody that, that kind of really would like more, but I think they're being very careful about um, how, when, if they should speak to it. This is Justice card about. This is Justice card. Seven of Cups. Oh. What's this Ace of Cups? Oh my goodness, what's this Ace of Cups? Good gracious. What's this Ace of Cups? <laughs> I want to lock it down. Alright, what's this Page of Pentacles about? This Page of Pentacles. The Devil. What else for this Page of Pentacles? Hi. Well, there's just cards everywhere. Too many. Flipping around, but this did land upright. Just saying, Ace of Pentacles again, or Ace of Cups again. What's this Page of Pentacles about? All right. If you're wondering if you're gonna, you should give this person a chance. Yes. Um, you might feel like, okay, I need to take some time to do with that, to to think about this offer that this person wants to make, because they do. Um, they'll give you that time. This is someone that wants to be in your life. Um, they might 
they might just be saying, hey, you know what, I'm, you've got a friend in me, I'm here for the long haul, or this very well could be someone that you've had a fight with that you're kind of teetering on taking it to the next level, or just a good friend. It's, it's, I feel like it's somebody that hasn't made their feelings known yet, um, and they're trying to gauge whether they should, what, what time frame would be best, that sort of thing. But this is somebody that's probably pledged um, undying friendship for you. <laughs> And it's probably gonna come out that they feel very strongly for you, that they just feel like you're their fit. And that this is somebody that you might have to set some boundaries with to see how it goes and to kind of um, see if they can walk the walk and talk the talk, which would suggest that there's been a history with this person and this is actually about a reconciliation or a reunion, which is what I said before, where they, you kind of show up unannounced or it just kind of happens that they're you're in each other's friend circle again there's communication again hey how are you i saw you were on such and such or i saw you over here let's get together for coffee or whatnot the thing is what they're not telling you is that they've had a change of heart um and they they realize what they have missed out on what they didn't do right the first time and this is somebody that really does want to be with you the thing is though, because of what happened prior, you're going to have to set some boundaries and you're gonna to have to see if they actually are good for what they say. Because I think the intent's there, um, but I, I feel like they might be kind of rushing in because I don't think they ever stopped feeling for you or they've been feeling this way for quite some time. They just haven't let it be known. Um, but whatever happened in the past, I think you might still be leery of that. So this is about giving things time to evolve. And this person is serious and they are being authentic, but again, you're gonna to have to be the judge of that because for whatever reason, this is not something, this is something they're coming back from. So this is something that has happened prior, um, involving you obviously, but in, it didn't work out so well the first time. <laughs> so here they come again. And I think there's been some realizations about like, oh, wow, this is really what I want. This does suit me. So they might be just approaching you as a friend, as, you know, I just, I didn't know I was confused before or, but I don't think they're gonna lead with that. I think this is gonna be kind of about a friendship thing, like, you know, just kind of, hey, how you been, that type of thing. And then it's gonna come out that they do, eventually it's gonna come out that they, what they really want. This is someone that does want to be back in your life. They will wait. I don't know that they ever stopped feeling for you. Um, this is somebody that wants to work things out, that wants to work on the relationship. I think they realize coming full circle um, that you are their person, at least a person for them. We got the justice, we got the world, we got the sun here. I mean, it feels like this is someone that is like, okay, yeah, um, I, you know, again, coming full circle, this is my person. This is someone that fits me, that suits me. I can see brighter days ahead with this person. So while it might look like, hey, you know, let's let's work through this or can we resolve at least how things ended just to be on, you know, good footing with each other, there's really a romantic offer behind it. They really do want to extend that and like, okay, so you resolve whatever happened in the past and then this person's gonna keep sticking around and kind of want to keep doing things and eventually it's gonna come out that they do want longevity with you. They're not gonna leave with that though because it's just that that would probably you probably shut the door in their face whatever happened you'd be like uh you need to clear a few things up with me first you know so i, I they're not going anywhere this could be pisces um taurus scorpio leo libra leo capricorn but there is that um not caution but just about not getting back into it again because you two might have been really hot and heavy and there might have been that there but maybe the the reliability the stability and all that wasn't so this is about you making sure that you can trust this person not because they're not trustworthy but that you can trust yourself things are really going good it's easy to trust yourself because it doesn't require anything right everything's fine everything's transparent you feel safe you feel secure trust must you know but when the going gets tough that's when being able to trust yourself kicks in because you have got to know that you can count on yourself to get yourself out of a situation when the chips are stacked against you, when it's really hard, when you're scared. Something inside has to kick in and go, I don't care how scared we are, we're getting ourselves out of here. 
you know, I can count on myself to navigate my life. When it's easy, you don't need trust. It's easy. But so this is about you being able to trust yourself around this person again. And they do want stability and longevity with you. But for some reason, they're going to need to be able to prove that to you. And you are going to have to set up boundaries and parameters and, and be patient and see over time. Um, it's, there's something about you not letting them call the shots. Because this can be like a really intense person and a really assertive person. Not that that's bad. But they're, they've just got kind of a, they're kind of a force to be reckoned with. Like they're kind of intense. Which again, not bad at all. But, you know, given free reign, they can kind of run roughshod or, or go, you know, from zero to 60 when it's like, well, maybe we should coast at 25 for a little bit, you know? So you might have to do that for yourself because maybe you might be like, oh, whatever, we'll just go with the flow. Or that will come back to bite you in the butt, not because of this person is bad or good. It's because you're going to somehow get out there in front of it and have regrets or you're gonna it's gonna be out of your comfort zone and that's gonna cause problems later so just do your due diligence now so that by the time it comes to profess love or to take that next step with this person you're ready for it you're not gonna panic and cut things off or scurry away or, or start a fight to create some distance that sort of thing um, because what's really gonna be important to them is that you trust and go with how you feel so it, and you're going to have to do that for you because you will sabotage it if you don't. I'm just saying. This is something that you need to be able to trust yourself. That this person's been there. Maybe they're coming back around because they've given you your space. But you're going to need to be able to trust this person for your own sake. Not They're not going to have to earn your trust per se. I mean, they will. But um, this is about you being able to trust yourself around this person that you seem to have quite the affinity for. Um, and the feelings are reciprocated. And maybe that makes you feel a bit vulnerable or like, you know, oh my gosh, I just, I can't go there. I can't go that deep with someone. Well, they'll wait. <laughs> what else for Aquarius? Good Lord. These are like, these are nice and cheery, which I'm glad for because sometimes like we can, we can kind of plummet with these. <laughs> so this is, you know, the only issue here is, um, you know, moderating things. Well, that's, that's kind of a nice problem to have. <laughs> What else for Aquarius? What else for Aquarius? Ooh. Three of Wands. Again, with the patience needing to... Maybe I should set that over here. Patience. Maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe it is. There it is. Having to have that patience. This could be that there's distance involved. We've got the world. Three of Wands. Um, there could be some distance here. Could be that, you know, can you just wait for me while I wrap up this assignment or the semester or whatever it is that's kind of kept you two apart temporarily. Might be why things are on hold or have been on hold or kind of iffy not progressing forward is because someone just couldn't take that either you or your person couldn't get to that next level. And they've been waiting and hoping to kind of reintroduce, um, you and them <laughs> for the potential of longevity because I feel it and they always have. There's something about you being not wanting to go there though, not wanting to trust. And it's it's about baby steps. Baby steps. Do, do, do. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. But I think they're wanting you to feel right about this and that they'll hold off and they'll wait and they'll give it time and they'll be patient, but they really need to know that you're not going to want to scurry away or end things again because of something superficial that might be legitimate. Like, Oh, I got this job assignment, but it's like, you know what? You didn't have to choose that job assignment. Why are you running from me? Not that they'd say, I mean, but it could be a quick, like, why do you elect to be away from me? After we get to a certain point, you panic and you sh What else for Aquarius? Okay, I got two here. Why did you? Oh my goodness. Huh? <laughs> I pulled three. Okay. Wow. Holy cow. All right. So, um, 
I was only going to pull one, and I was like, oh, nope, over here. And then I ended up pulling two permanents. Somebody might be afraid to settle down, hi, Aquarius. Might be afraid to trust to settle down to build some permanence to establish roots with somebody because of fear. Hello. Fear. Wow. That can be pretty powerful. Everybody knows that. No shame. And the sun again. So, you know, sometimes you got to try through the cry. <laughs> you got to, you know, when in doubt, force it. No. But to alleviate this, this is going to take time and that's what you're going to have to give yourself and whatever this offer reconciliation whatever because the feelings for this person are there they're not going to tell you that they're not going to leave with that um it's probably just going to be a friendly reunion getting back together as friends staying in each other's friend circle but this person really does feel like um it is a right fit with you they've got pretty deep feelings but they're not telling you that so this could be about fear on your part. I don't think this is about you needing to be afraid of somebody. I don't think this is about, oh, you know, get the heck out of there. I think this is about giving things time to evolve for your own um, efficacy in a situation so that you, you know, taking those baby steps so that you don't panic when you get 10 feet down the road. Right, yes, no more singing, okay. All right, what else for Aquarius? God, I'm so glad this is positive. Whew. There's been some, there's been some months here. <laughs> it's not been so positive. That's for Aquarius. All right. Better not give me the dang death card. Well, even death would be okay. That's all right. That's for Aquarius. Hey, Six of Cups. Whoa. Yay. Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Yay. So that could be Taurus. Um, this is about a stable, secure offer with somebody from your past. It could also be that someone is finally ready to transition to take the next step. Um, maybe that's you. Maybe that's them. But enough time will go by or has gone by to where things can start to transition. This is someone also coming back, possibly, like I said earlier, from your past to have a stable, steady, secure offer. This too, this could be this, this could be that. But consider also, this could be Taurus, that the reason why there was kind of this hesitancy on your part, Aquarius, is because in the past, it took forever for things to progress because this work person um, might have been doing this or that or just been a lot of things going on that you two couldn't progress like you wanted. So now that they're ready, they're coming back, you're just like, okay, you know, prove it. Even though you might want to run headlong into, you know, the situation, it's got to be for your own sanity <laughs> and feeling secure in the situation for things to progress slowly, for time to be given. Especially if you two have been going like this. Okay, all right. I hope this was helpful and I hope you and your person are able to kind of meet and go along methodically. It can get wild and crazy later, but until <laughs> until you have that firm, grounded feeling of trust and that positivity that everything's gonna work out, we got the sun here twice, um, just take it slow. Your person will wait. All right, Aquarius, I hope this was helpful. I hope you feel encouraged. This was, I'm very glad to have read this. Felt good. <laughs> Hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.